Hello everyone and welcome. Hello. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about my A350 here that I'm building, talk about the ups and downs of it and things I have to redo and things that are going great with it. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. As you know, um, from my earlier videos that you saw me lay up these staffs here and I use a system called TAS, Total Area vacuum system and I laid up the um, the wings also like the um, um, using that tap system but um, the wings they were light and but they were kind of on the heavy side so what I decided to do was go ahead and make um, a foam core wings and um, as you can see here I began cutting out the foam for the wings um, the cores and I'll go ahead and sheet those just like I did on my U2 airplane um, wings. If you want to see how I did that, just go back and watch one of my YouTube videos and um, I show you how to um, um, sheet the wings in there. Now, the vertical stab here, it can be lighter, but I'm just going to go ahead and work with it because it's not um, um, heavy at all. And these two um, horizontal stabs, they um, um, can be lighter too, but they are okay. But the wings were a little heavy, so I really didn't like that. So I went ahead and, um, um, like I said, go ahead and uh, cut out foam cores. Now, um, if you do, really do not understand what the um, tabs is, just um, imagine this being in a mold. I laid up um, in a negative mold. I put down a layer of fiberglass, wetted that fiberglass out Put a layer of foam of that and then put another layer of fiberglass on that then i vacuum back that whole side here total area of vacuum then um, i went ahead and made the other side the same way when the two halves were dry then you um, um epoxy them together to give you a very lightweight structure and that's what um, that tabs is To understand what TAPS actually is, I actually cut up one of the wings um, on the plane to show you what it looks like inside. We have a um, the outside shell here, which is the fiberglass. Then we have the foam on that. And then we have another layer of fiberglass on top of that. And the other side over here is done the same way. Then we just have a light, um, also structure in here just it's just a, um, a strip just goes down here and that's all and that's what that is and I went ahead and cut the um, the flap of this uh, as you can see and there's the hinge but everything is going along good with this airplane we got the two stabs done and the vertical stab, the back end of the airplane, and the front of the, or excuse me, the mid body of the fuselage, and the nose. So, now what I have to do, like I said, is just go ahead and build um, two foam core wings. And once I do that, then I just make another one of these um, um, nacelles and get the motors and everything installed on this. And this thing will be um, pretty complete then and uh, ready to go. But again, I just want to let you guys know some setbacks that I had. Oh, also this nose here, um, um, I laid it up again because I banged it up and something fell on it. So I had to do that again, it was no big deal. And um, this one is actually a few grams lighter, which I was happy about that. But I imagine I could even get lighter if I worked a little more with it, but I'm happy with it. And this fuselage here too, I'm quite happy with it. It's very light and um, yeah. So this project again is going along great. And like I said, just a few minor setbacks with the, um, the wings just turning out, just being um, just a little too heavy. And I didn't like that. Now with that TAP system, Composite Arf 
they build um, their models like that using that TAVS system. And um, it works out really well for lightweight models. But like I said, if you're building a smaller model, it's best to just go ahead and um, use um, built up wings or foam core wings and stuff like that. It's because you'll um, get a much lighter part. But um, if you want all composite, Go ahead and do it, but um, it may sacrifice a little weight, but it's not uh, uh, not much. Again, this um, A350 is going to be eight feet long, and I'm hoping somewhere between a weight um, of 18 and 25 pounds. So uh, if you like all this stuff, how I'm doing this, I explain all of it in my videos, how I make everything. And I will always explain to you guys how I do stuff because um, I'd like to help, every, uh, help everybody out. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. So um, one last thing I wanna tell you that I will be giving away the, uh, the, STL, the STL files for the molds of this once this is done and flying. So um, tune in, stay tuned in. Subscribe for more.